welcome to lovely lovebird designs this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a Siamese cat on the rainbow loom and I used the tan color from the camo pack and you can also use the um, second to darkest shade in the skin tone pack too that would look really cute and I used black also and I used beads for the eyes I made a little line for uh, the pupil in this tutorial I'm going to use bands and you can use a magic marker for the bands to make a little line also. And I think she came out really cute. And I also have another tutorial for a regular cat. So I have a black one and a calico and a little orange tabby. So if you want to make a regular cat, you can go on, come back to my channel and look up the Rainbow Loom cat and it'll be there. But right now we're going to make the Siamese cat and it's a single loom and we can get started. Okay, so it's staggered position, arrow facing down, and we're gonna start off with the tan color first. And we're gonna outline the face right now. So it's gonna be double bands. So a double band on the top, from this pin to this pin. Then another double band, from this pin to this pin. Then another double, on the right side and then another double on the left side. Now we're going to triple band for the bottom of the neck. So you need three bands for this one. So we're going to connect from this pin and we're going to stretch it to this pin. And this is the outline of the face. And then we're going to need another triple band. And then we're going to stretch from here to here. Okay? So we're going to this pin, which is one, two, three, four pins down. So once again, double, 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 triple, triple. Okay, so now we need a double black band for the middle of the face. So a double. It's going to go from this pin to this pin. Okay, then we need another double of the black, and we're just working our way down in the middle. And then another double of the black. Okay, and now we're going to make a little black for a little um, more fuller face. So we need a single black, and we're going from this pin to this pin. And that's a single black. Okay, then we're going to do another single black and on the other side. From this to here. Okay, so just to reiterate, this is a triple, this is a triple, that's a single, that's a single, everything else is double. So now we're going to make the neck, and it's going to be a triple band. So I'm going to push this down, stretch it, get my triple band together, and bring it down right here, from this pin to this pin. And now we're going to make double bands. So I'm going to place my double of the same of the tan color from this pin to this pin and it's going to be four stitches long the body so it's one two three and four okay now we'll work on the side of the body I'm going to push this down and these are double stitches again. And I'm going to start right here and just do a little diagonal. Then I'm going to work my way down and all doubles. And then we're going to close it off at the end. From this pin to this pin. And then we're going to work on this side. And we 
we're just working our way down. Okay, and then we're going to close it off at the end, and from this pin to this pin. Okay, so this is the layout. We're going to work on the tail now. So, Siamese have uh, basically a black tail, and if you want to change up the colors, you can change it up to whatever your Siamese looks like, but I'm going to use this basic coloration, and we're going to use going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bands. Okay, so we're going to need a black band. This is a single. So place this over here. Place it on your hook and wrap it around four times. So one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to take another black band, twist it upon itself, then you place it on the hook and you pull the little capping band in the middle, bring it back on the hook, and this is one stitch. So then you take another band, single twist, place it on the hook, and then bring that and just keep on repeating the same procedure. Single twist, place it on the hook. Okay, another single twist. Okay, so how many I have? It's one, two, three, four. Here's number five. Number six. And I wanted seven for the tail, but I want to change the color to the um, color of the body now because the end I wanted to mesh with the body so I'm going to change it to the the seventh stitch will be the uh, tan color so single twist so let's count again it's one two three four five six seven and we're going to place it right here So that's your tail. Now the legs. We're going to have the same single stitches for the black part and then a double stitch of tan for the top. So let's get back to a single black. Place it on the hook four times around again. So one, two, three, and four. Then you take a single, twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, and just like the tail. And this will be a total of one, two, three, four stitches. So that's one. Here's number two. And these are all single twists. Three. And number four. Okay, now we need a double of the tan color, so a double, and you're just placing the double just like this, and then bringing the leg on there, then we're going to place it right here. Okay, so that's one leg, and we're going to repeat over here. So another single black, one, two, three and four. Then you take another single black for the first stitch. Then another, we need three more stitches. Here's number two. Three. And four. Okay, and now we need a double of the tan. And we're going to place
place it right here. Okay, just like that. And now we're going to work on the hind legs, and it's going to be the same four stitches of the black, and then it's going to be, we're going to make a little thigh area for so it's more 3D. So it's going to be a single black, one, two, three, and four times around. And we need another four stitches, so single twist. That's one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now we need another double of the skin of the um tan, sorry. Is it just like this? And then we're making a thicker thigh, so it's going to be a triple. So this is a double. Then we're going to triple band right here. So three. And then we're going to place it on this pin and this pin. So we'll place one end on this one. and then the other on this end. Okay, so it looks like that. And then we'll repeat on this side. So, a single, one, two, three, four. Single twist. Okay, we need three more. Here's number two, three, and four. Okay, now you need a double of the tan. Place it on the hook, just like that. Then you need another triple for the thigh area. And we're going to place it on this pin and this pin. Okay, let's put some structural bands. And I'm going to use a single tan, and we're just going to make a triangle. Another single tan, triangle, single tan, triangle. Okay. Now we're going to work with the ears. And no, you know what? I'll work with the um the nose first. That's a little easier. So, single black and just wrap it around the hook four times. So, 1 2 3 and 4. Then you take another single black. Place that on the single black. And we're going to place it on from this pin to this pin. Okay, it's going to lay right in the middle there. And now the eyes, I'm using two blue bands for the eyes. If you want to use beads, these are e-beads. And then I just placed, I did a magic marker and just made a line here. And it looked really, really cute. And small pony beads would be the same too. Okay, so take the blue. One, two, three, and four. Four times around. Or you can do a figure eight, like this, and then twist it around. It's the same thing. So then you're going to take another black single, place it on the hook, slide the eyes on the single black, and then you're going to place it on these two pins and bring it down. So I'll show you first. Place it on this pin, 
bring it down and back up again and separate the eyes. Okay, so we want it just like this. And then later on, we're going to, after it's all loomed, these black bands are going to be on the side. So that's the um, nose and the eyes. And now we're going to work with the ears. I'm going to first show you, I've seen many pictures with some Siamese cats with all black ears. And some of them have some tan in the middle with black on the outside. I'm going to first show you how to make the tan in the middle with the black outside. And it's the same coloration as, um, it's the same technique as just making it all black. But it's a little bit easier to show with the tan. So I'm going to show you first the tan ear, and then I'm going to make a black ear for this kitty cat. So you just put on the hook, wrap four times. One, two, three, and four. Then I'm going to take a double black, so two blacks, I'm going to place it on the hook, place it just like this, I'm going to do one twist and then two twists and then place it back on the hook. So that's one ear, so I'm going to show you it again, you place your black band here. Do one twist and then another twist around, place it back on the hook. So it's a little twisty on top. Then you take another single black, place it on the hook, and then you slide everything on there. So black, tan, black. Okay, and then that's one ear, and then you place it, your um, single twist on here, and then at the end, you can actually separate this, and you get a tan in the middle, and it's surrounded by black. So I'm going to show you with just black now, same technique, one, two, three, four, that's the middle of my ear. Then a double band, place it on the hook. So one twist, two twists. Place it back on the hook. Then I'm going to take another single black, place it on the hook, and then slide everything over. Place a single black on there, then I'm going to place it right here. If you have ever made my Siberian Husky, it's basically the same technique. So now I'm going to take another black, single, one, two, three, four, take a double of the black, place it just like this, one, two, place it back on, take a single twist, and then just slide it all over. Okay, place it back on, and then we're going to place it right here. Okay, so this is the layout of your Siamese, and we can start looming. I want to add, for the whiskers, I'm going to use clear bands for them. I used a light gray for this one. You can use white also, any color you want. And when we start looming it, we're going to actually place the whiskers on the nose so that we don't lose the nose when you take it off the loom. So definitely keep these two bands set to the side. I'm going to use two bands. You can use three if you want thicker whiskers. Whatever you like. So we're going to pull back the tail. And my top band is this guy. I'm going to 
just grab the top. And bring it to the left. Then we're going to grab this one. Bring it to the right. And now the middle. And we're going to loom the middle all the way up to the neck. And now we're going to loom the side. We're only grabbing the bottom row. Okay, none of this stuff. Just the bottom. Go all the way to the bottom. Grab that double. Bring it to this pin. And just loom forward. Okay, so now we're grabbing this one. It's all the way at the bottom. straighten out that one and the same on the left so all the way at the bottom and just looming forward to the neck. Okay, so this is a triple band right here. We're going to go all the way at the bottom, grab that triple, and place it on this pin. So now my top band is this black. I'm going to bring the black forward, and now my other band is this triple tan on the left. I'm going to bring that to the left and then my triple tan to the right. Okay, and now I'm going to show you, I'm just going to loom the black parts right now. First we're going to loom this um, single black diagonal and this is crucial because we want all the black to be in the middle of the face. Now we're going to grab this single diagonal place the eyes in the middle Okay, get your little whiskers ready. Now we're going to grab this double black right here. Place it in between the eyes. Now, this is the part where I want to add the whiskers. So I'm going to go inside, find that nose, place my hook in the middle of those four bands, just like this, and see? Then I'm going to take my whiskers and just pull them through. Okay, so adding the whiskers at this part will, when we take it off the loom, we'll actually, we're not going to lose this nose. So add the whiskers, then we're going to loom this black double band right here in between the eyes. And that goes on top. So now we're going to go to the side of the head and loom the tan. And now we're looming this tan on the top of the head. Okay, just like that. Now the side of the head on this side, on the left. And now the top tan. Okay, this is your layout. Make sure your kitty cat looks like this. Now we need a double tan for it to do the slip knot. 
squeeze it through the top. Place it on top. I like to make sure that this isn't like tangled up. That's my slip knot. Now you can slowly take it off the loom. And then after we take it off the loom, we'll sew him shut, move the bands around, and we will have a Siamese kitty cat. Okay, so I'm going to bring it up. I don't want to lose the face. Now here's the nose area. We want to bring that up so we don't lose the nose. Okay, we don't need the loom anymore. Take your finger, here's my eyes in the back of the head, push the back of the head through. My eyes are coming out now. Pull the ears up, because it also moves the bands. Put this, the nose down, and you can see this black band right here. I don't want a black band right here, so I'm going to take this triple band that we have on the neck area, and I'm just going to cover it. So place the black band underneath it so you don't see that black band in the front. And I also see my black band here, so I'm going to take that and just cover it with the tan. Now I want to bring my eyes out. So I'm going to bring them out. Bring this one out. And remember those single black bands, the diagonals on the top. I want the single diagonals to lay on the side of the eyes so there's more black. So if you have the bands over here, mine actually are laying on the side. They're right over here. If you have some over here, you just take the black bands and move them to the side. Same over here. Take the black bands and move it to the side, to the side of the head, just like this. These are my, my black bands. That worked out really well. And now we stretch out the body. Stretch out the legs, tail. The triple band and the neck, we're going to go right through. And we're just going to give it a tug to make her more upright. So now it's like this. We just tug that triple band. And now we're going to sew the body shut to make her 3D. Okay, we need a single of the tan color. And if you've made my dogs before, you know um, exactly what I'm going to do right now. If you're new, then um, just pay close attention. Look at the bands, and there's a shoulder band right here. I'm going to place my hook right through these bands. So make sure yours looks like this. And then we're going to take our band to put it on the hook, bring it through, and then we'll make a slip knot. And I want the knot to lay a little bit low. Okay, so we have a, now this is like basically our thread. And then we're going to go in the next stitch down underneath the stitch that we already sewed. So we go to this one. Then we take the thread and pull it through. And then we go to the next stitch. And we're just basically sewing her. Pull it through. And you can stop there, or I go a little bit more to like the base of the tail. And just pull it through. 
So now I have the end of my thread, and I'm going to use my trusty scissor. Don't hurt yourself with this, be careful. Snip the end, so you have two pieces. Then you're going to anchor one piece underneath any part of the belly. So I'm just going to place the thread underneath it. And now I'm going to do like a triple knot. One, and we're just sewing it shut. Okay, and then you can hide the excess inside the band, inside the belly, or just snip it. And be careful not to snip the body of the cat too. So now, stretch her out, stretch the legs out. And she's coming into shape now. So now the tail. I don't want the tail laying down like that, so we want the tail up. So that tan band at the end that we added for the tail. I'm going to go right through it. And I'm just going to pull the black part up. so my tail's more up and you can actually do that with like go in the middle of the band of the black and just give slight tugs and I'll shape the tail into place and you see it's more up okay so you can keep also you can keep the bottom bands just like this but if you want to make a little little paw if you want to be more detailed you can move the bottom and go into that first stitch. You don't have to do this. It's just being more detailed. This um, four little bands at the bottom, the capping band, you can move it forward and it does make a little paw. So it's not a significant difference, but it does make a little paw. But you don't have to do that. You can do that on all of them, but I'm just going to keep it straight because it looks really cute straight too. And the, we're going to hide this, and you can see there's some black here, and we're going to sew the tan together so the back, the black is hidden. So just like the belly, we're just going to pull it down and sew some of the, the tan part of the head. And just keep the excess there or hide it and you got that sewed up I'm gonna pull my ears up and if you want there's a the ball right here in the middle and this one's actually you can't really see it that well because it's black on black but I have the ball part in the middle and then the outside has a little point to it and this one the ball is hidden so I'm just gonna move the outside black back a little bit and now you can see the little ball part and the outside is pointy and you can keep her ears up and if you want to keep the bands just like this you can do that or you can snip it snip the ends and trim them some of the bands are long so you can, you know, give them a trim to the whatever length you want. And that's your kitty cat. And also, let me see one second. I need a black marker for this one. Okay, I got my black marker. Now, if you have, you can have the bands facing down on the eyes, like this one. And if you just take a little marker and just make a little line right on one of the bands, you can have a really cute pupil and it'll be really nice. Let me get a different marker too. Okay, got a different marker. So you just make a little line and that's so much better. And you have a little pupil, a little kitty cat. So I really hope you like this tutorial.
This is your Siamese. If you want to make a tabby or anything else, come back to my other um, tutorial. And I hope you liked her. And you can see the face comes out, the black part. She's 3D. And I think she came out really cute. Okay. Please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Design. See you soon. Okay, another single twist. Okay, so how many I have? It's one, two, three, four. Here's number five. Number six. And I wanted seven for the tail, but I want to change the color to the um, color of the body now, because the end I wanted to mesh with the body. So I'm going to change it to the the seventh stitch will be the uh, tan color. So single twist. So let's count again. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, so that's your tail. Now the legs. We're going to have the same single stitches for the black part and then a double stitch of tan for the top. So let's get back to a single black place it on the hook four times around again. So one, two, three, and four. Then you take a single, twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, and just like the tail. And this will be a total of one, two, three, four stitches. So that's one. Here's number two. And these are all single twists. Three, and number four. Okay, now we need a double of the tan color. So a double, and you're just placing the double just like this, and then again, double, 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 triple, triple. Okay, so now we need a double black band for the middle of the face. So a double, it's going to go from this pin to this pin. Okay, then we need another double of the black, and we're just working our way down in the middle. And then another double of the black. Okay, and now we're going to make a little black for a little um, more fuller face. So we need a single black. And we're going from this pin to this pin. And that's a single black. Okay, then we're going to do another single black. And on the other side. From this to here. Okay, so just to reiterate, this is a triple. This is a triple. That's a single. That's a single. Everything else is double. So now we're going to make the neck, and it's going to be a triple band. So I'm going to push this down, stretch it, get my triple band together, and bring it down right here from this pin to this pin. And now we're going to make double bands. So I'm going to place my double of the same of the tan color from this pin to this pin and it's going to be four stitches long the body so it's one two three and four okay now we'll work on the side of the body I'm going to push this down and these are double stitches again. And I'm going to start right here and just do a little diagonal. Then I'm going to work my way down and all doubles.
and then we're going to close it off at the end from this pin to this pin and then we're going to work on this side and we're just working our way down Okay, and then we're going to close it off at the end, and from this pin to this pin. Okay, so this is the layout. We're going to work on the tail now. So Siamese have uh, basically a black tail, and if you want to change up the colors, you can change it up to whatever your Siamese looks like. But I'm going to use this basic coloration, and we're going to use. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bands. Okay, so we're going to need a black band. This is a single. So place this over here. Place it on your hook and wrap it around four times. So one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to take another black band, twist it upon itself. Then you place it on the hook and you pull the little capping band in the middle, bring it back on the hook, and this is one stitch. So then you take another band, single twist, place it on the hook, and then bring that and just keep on repeating the same procedure. Single twist place it on the hook, bringing the leg on there. Then we're going to place it right here. Okay, so that's one leg and we're going to repeat over here. So another single black. One, two, three, and four. Then you take another single black for the first stitch. Then another, we need three more stitches. Here's number two. Three. And four. Okay, and now we need a double of the tan. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, just like that. And now we're going to work on the hind legs. And it's going to be the same four stitches of the black. And then it's going to be, we're going to make a little thigh area for, so it's more 3D. So it's going to be a single black, one, two, three, and four times around. And we need another four stitches. So single twist. That's one, two, three. And four. Okay, so now we need another double of the skin. Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. This tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Siamese cat on the rainbow loom. And I used the tan color from the camo pack, and you can also use the um, second to darkest shade in the skin tone pack too that would look really cute and I used black also and I used beads for the eyes and made a little line for uh, the pupil in this tutorial I'm going to use bands and you can use a magic marker for the bands to make a little line also and I think she came out really cute 
And I also have another tutorial for a regular cat. So I have a black one and a calico and a little orange tabby. So if you want to make a regular cat, you can go on, come back to my channel and look up the Rainbow Loop cat and it'll be there. But right now we're going to make the Siamese cat and it's a single loom and we can get started. Okay, so it's staggered position, arrow facing down and we're going to start off with the tan color first. And we're going to outline the face right now. So it's going to be double bands. So a double band on the top from this pin to this pin. Then another double band from this pin to this pin. Then another double on the right side. And then another double on the left side. Now we're going to triple band for the bottom of the neck. So you need three bands for this one. So we're going to connect from this pin and we're going to stretch it to this pin. And this is the outline of the face. Okay, and then we're going to need another triple band. And then we're going to stretch from here to here. Okay, so we're going to this pin, which is one, two, three, four pins down. So once